What's up guys? Welcome back. Hey. Today we are going to be uh, seeing a few things in Fairbanks today. Um, we're going to go look at the pipeline because it runs right through here. First, we need some coffee. And, and a cake pop. And, and a cake pop. What are you gonna get? I don't know, probably just a French vanilla iced coffee. <laughs> and you guys know that I have issues with Starbucks always messing up my order, so um, I guess we're gonna try this place out. Let's see if they mess it up. Let's hope they don't. Let's hope they do. <laughs> yeah, that was what I was gonna say. Medium black iced coffee and then a medium French vanilla iced coffee. Americana? Yeah. Americana. Yeah. Chicken quesadilla, cold sandwich wrap, club sandwich wrap, roast beef, supreme burrito, lunch burrito, biscuits and gravy, toast bagel, um, breakfast sandwich. They have a lot of food. Buffalo chicken wrap. That sounds good. Mm. Just a French roll. I don't think you're even like that. Bread. They got it right on the first time. This ain't no Starbucks. They did get my coffee right. I mean, it's just black iced coffee, guys, but um, Starbucks screws it up on the daily. But this turned out good. Okay, so the Alaska Pipeline starts in Prudhoe Bay all the way up at the tip top and it runs 800 miles all the way down to Anchorage. So, crazy. 800 miles, it's 48 inches in diameter. It cost eight billion to build in 1977 and was privately funded. Took two years to build, and the first oil that moved through the pipeline was June 20th, 1977. And if you don't know, these trees are birch trees. And this stuff flakes off like paper. And a lot of people use them, they go up in flames. So people use them as a good fire starter. So a lot of the time when you think of Alaska, like the first thing you think of is the pipeline. And so this is really cool that we get to see it so close to home. So stand right here. You have to be like three feet away for it to focus. Gotta use the Polaroid. So what I think is funny is that it says, please don't climb on the pipeline. And if there's a sign, that means someone has done it. So look at all of these. Yeah, we don't have any. But how would we put in? And I believe when I was reading about it, it said that 1.8 million barrels are pumped through this a day. And you can see it just, it just goes as long as you can see it. So crazy. I also read that like 80% of the state's budget depends on the pipeline, the money that they get from it. So these are the old pigs. These are the new ones. 